And we're rolling? Yes, you're rolling. Alright, hey guys, it's uh, Silent again. Uh, this stealth tutorial. I'm not stealth tutorial. Uh, this tutorial is for those who use Silent Live. Um, this is my custom uh, UI, user interface, Xbox user interface. Uh, basically, what I'm going to show you today is uh, how to change your colors and how to do your own full manifest. So you can do all the cool stuff I'm doing on my server and what you can see other people doing online. Alright, let's get started. First thing you're going to need is you're going to need uh, a web server, or some kind of web hosting. Um, it has to be HTTP at least. Most of them are out there. Uh, those things are dirt cheap. I recommend NFO. It's only like three bucks a month. If you can find a free one, go for it. I don't know any, personally. Um, what you want to do is you want to make a new, make a folder called Assets like this, and then put all the XMLs into that folder, the into the Assets folder, which I will provide with you for you in my server files. It'd be all these right here, and then. Um, what you're gonna do is you're gonna copy copy my uh, silent extension XEX extension Xbox extension whatever it's called uh, into release folder here okay, got it right here you're gonna open up patch XEX and you're gonna put your I your IP there or if you're using uh, an address, don't put HTTP or HTTPS or whatever. You'll you'll get errors. And then the colors, uh, like I showed in one of my previous videos, um, what to do. Sorry, I'm tired. You're gonna go here and uh, choose your color. See, I chose purple it's six letters six digits and then you just um, enter them social tabs dash buttons buttons more tabs background get a couple of colors if you want see how I got him got them here for the purple seven six one twelve seven six one twelve seven six one twelve leave the FF alone don't touch that uh, once you get all that crap, all that stuff filled in, just uh, save it, and then uh, go back to your folder, and then you're gonna run this right here. So you just run it, and I run for you like that. I've uh, I've already done this on mine. I already entered. This is my uh, test server here. Let's uh let's pull it up and take a look at it real quick. Make sure we're still rolling, okay. As you can see, I am connected to my XMLs here on my test server. I'm going to go ahead and switch back to my uh, regular server.
Oh, I forgot to mention. Also, um, in the INI in my INI settings, the silent INI, you're gonna turn off my uh, UI as well, so you can use your own. See how I've got my UI turned off. And just switch it off in the settings. Don't turn off the colors. If you turn off the colors, you're gonna screw shit up. Don't turn them off. Unless you don't want any UI at all. So. Turn that off. Leave that on. Uh, forgot to mention this message box. That's uh, so like uh, you know, like when you when you log in to my server, you get a pop up box, box a greeting box that says hello and everything, and tells you all daily announcements or uh, update or updates or whatever. Yeah, I programmed that program that in there. So in case you don't. You want to see it once, see the announcements, don't want to see it again, just enter false, save it to the HDD drive, and then you will never see that pop up box. Alright, so. There we go. Alright, and I switched successfully, demonstrated here that I switch back back and forth between my uh, my VPS and then my uh, uh, web hosting which my VPS does have web hosting on it you have to install it I use the exam Could probably use that. that's what most people do it's freaking easy all right uh, I hope this was uh, helpful uh, if you have any questions uh, feel free to reach out to me on discord all right, thanks. Have a good one.